Hello everyone, it's me once again, you know, Corey Davis. And I just, um, I wanna let you all know something. And for me, today is a really big day for me. You know, what do you ask? Um, why January 28th? You know, why is today such a huge monumental day for me? Well, because my fellow subscribers, I am proud to announce that today is the fifth anniversary of Corey D. Jokester. Yep, this YouTube channel has been going on for the past five years. It all started on this day, January 28th, 2015. Originally, I created the channel to um, film season two of my old Facebook comedy show, Broken Joking. Some of you all might remember it, some of you all might not, but you know, only my older followers who have been around with me since the beginning will remember that. But um, today is the fifth anniversary of my YouTube channel. Yes, I've been around for five years now, you know. Well, my channel has, you know, I've been around for 18 going on 19 years, but hey, you know, five years that's a big achievement that that really is and i know some people who have been around longer than five years on youtube but for me five years that's a significant year because um i feel like if you've been doing something for so long and you've come to not only grow but evolve within your craft then i feel like that should be celebrated somehow you know, somehow, some way, that should be celebrated. And for five long years, I've been making movies and and videos and or whatnot. You know, whether whether those videos were short films or feature length or small skits. You know, I, for five years, I've been on the YouTube market. I mean, right now, I have um. As of today, I have 303 subscribers and I have a total of 5,737 views from all my videos. That's including everything. And that's a start, you know, that's that's a great accomplishment, you know, because I started off with nothing. I started off with zero, you know, back in 2015, I was just a boy in the eighth grade who wanted to expand my craft, you know. And I've, I've been dreaming about filmmaking ever since I was six years old. And I've been practicing my dream since two, 2014, which I started off on Facebook. But then in 2015, I kind of migrated over to YouTube a little bit. So really, I've been making videos for six years, but today makes it five years for being on YouTube. But... um it's a real accomplishment to me you know it may not matter to you but it matters a lot to me because i've been doing this for such a long time and i've had people come and go on on this journey and it just comes to show like if you just keep pushing you know if you just if you believe in something if you have a seed a tiny seed that's in your hand and you plant that seed in the ground and put some water on it and take care of it, then that seed is eventually gonna grow into something bigger, something more. And I'm glad to say that this seed that I planted five years ago grew into something that I actually enjoy. You know, and most people, you know, cause I have a small audience right now, but I'm hoping to grow into a larger market. But um, most people, they enjoy what I do and they understand why I do what I do. And I'm not one of those YouTubers that just sits in front of a, a camera and just talks like I'm doing right now. Today is just an exception because you you rarely see that out of me. And I just want to say uh, I just thank God for what he's brought me through, you know, these past few years. And I want to thank all of you for, you know, standing by my side for those who really cared and for those who really tuned in. You know, like I said, I don't 
sit in front of a camera and just talk all the time. You know, whenever I sit in front of a camera, I usually do a skit or I act something out or I direct something, I write something, you know, I produce something, you know. That's the kind of YouTuber that I am. And I apologize if I'm if I'm not too consistent with my uh my craft, with my work, because I'm constantly, constantly making new projects. I'm constantly figuring out ways how I can make my videos better, you know. I value quality over quantity, you know. I'm not someone who focuses on how much how much they could put out, but rather when you put something out, you know, what quality does it have or what impact does it have towards the, the audience that it's gearing towards. And so I feel like on my end, I feel like I've done somewhat of a good job, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna brag on myself because, you know, I don't do that. You know, I'm, I come from humble beginnings and uh, yeah, I'm still pushing. I'm still trying to go beyond great measures, go beyond the expected and uh, I'm doing my best, I'm trying my hardest, you know. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Everyone is trying to make it at something and um, I'm not the only person. There are some competitors out there, but I do believe that everyone has a chance to share their, their crafts with anyone they want to, you know, and I respect that, I really do. First, I respect people who have been at something who have been trying to perfect something for so long even when they had no support or little support and i respect that because i understand you know i'm i'm like them i am like them i understand their pain i understand being cussed out by people because i'm trying to send them a link to you know go to my youtube channel or whatnot or you know people just don't you know they don't like what i do and that's okay and you know i value i value constructive criticism what i don't value is uh disrespect you know i feel like there's a difference between telling someone what sh what they should work on and just saying flat out that that person sucks you know if you're not going to uplift me if you're not going to tell me what i need to work on then what good are you to me on this journey you know you're just dead weight you're just the you're the flat tire that's keeping me from going you know what i'm saying just yeah but um i feel like if we all have to you know find a way to succeed in life i feel like we should all succeed together collectively as a team as a group because that's the only way we're gonna succeed in this world is if we all uplift each other you know and I appreciate those who have uplifted me these past five years on this uh, on this channel. So for that, I'm going to say thank you. And like I said before, I'm working on some new projects. I'm working on some new ways to take you all on a journey in which you have never been on before. As far as like looking at videos of mine. I'm trying to make my videos more cinematic and stand out so they can have like a, a movie type of feeling, if you know what I mean. And I'm trying to bump the quality up a little bit too. I just have to clear some storage. And um, also, um, if you all don't know, um, Welcome Back, Bori, the sequel to 2016's Welcome to the Real World, Bori, is set to release this summer, July 26, 2020 on YouTube and Facebook. Yes, I am I'm still on Facebook. I'm not as, I'm not on there as much as I am on here, but I still post all my content on there as well. I'm thinking about doing Vimeo, you know, just kind of extend the market a little bit more. So, um yeah. I just want to say thank you and, you know, it's been an honor. It's been a real pleasure and I thank God for all of you and Please like this, share this, uh, subscribe to this. Like I said before, I'm, you know, it's pretty rare that you're ever going to see a video like this of me just sitting down talking to all of you. And I mean that out of no disrespect. It's just me. I'm a content creator, so I focus more on telling stories rather than just sitting in front of a camera and just doing tutorials or, you know, doing reviews or, you know, just 
sitting there. I like to actually move around. I'm a very mobile person. As you can see, that's why I'm rocking this chair back and forth. I rock the chair back and forth. I rock the chair back and forth. <laughs> you remember that song from uh, Willow Smith that came out uh, years ago? I whipped my hair back and forth. Well, t hey, that was a hit. But um, but anyways, um, yeah, I don't want to hold you guys too long. So, like I said, uh, thank you all for sticking by me, sticking by my side. Just being there, it really means a lot. And um, happy five years to Corey the Jokester. And we are out.